Hi everybody, welcome. It's my keyboard in the way there. Get that out of the way. Hello. Hi. Oh, I feel a little bit bare here. <laughs> Okay, hello to Kenny and um, who else came in? Let me just check. Alicia, Helen, Heather, hello, Joe Beth, welcome guys, come in. And we've got Linda and Shannon, hi, Abby, Kathy, Dawn, Sherry, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh gosh, I'm really unorganized. My camera's not even set up properly here. Let me just get rid of that autofocus. It's such a pain. Here we go. All right. I think that's about right. <laughs> Let's just apply that there. All right. Um, today I've got a flip through of um, Shintaka Harris' new book uh, by Vivid Publishers called August for Every Three. And uh, if the title hasn't been updated. I did write three, but apparently it said I wrote number two, but anyway, it's number three, uh, called Expressions. I've got a flip through of that today. Also, I had a really um, insistent request to do a, an image from the World of Warcraft coloring book, which I have yet to touch. So uh, we'll do a quick flip through of that. And uh, I've got a couple of images that I've got sitting there uh, that I I can't decide which one to do. So we're going to actually colour an image from the World of Warcraft book. And we're also going to do a flip through of the uh, Expressions 3. Uh, Expressions colouring book, August Reverie 3, I should say. I never get it right. <laughs> hi Holly, hi Graceland, welcome guys. Hi Bethann, hi Loretta. <laughs> Come in, hi Yvonne, welcome. Lovely to have you here. My name is Belinda, guys. If you don't know me already, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> welcome to the colouring community. Welcome, everybody. Hi, y'all. Um, you still don't have it, Loretta? <laughs> well, I'm going to colour an image out of it today. And, and I tell you what, I've learnt a lot about World of Warcraft over the last uh, day. Alicia and I have been doing loads of research to find uh, the original images of these images from here. So we've, Alicia and her friend stayed up till like two o'clock this morning uh, finding some of the original images from the book because I like to sort of colour to the, um, close to what the original artist has done. So uh, we've sort of done a bit of research and found a few images. So uh, that's going to be a bit of fun. Why is my camera so much on the side there? Let's just move that that way. How's that? A bit better? Don't feel so dizzy? <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome. Come in. Settle down. Got your coffee. <laughs> oh, you haven't been thrown out of this chat. No one gets thrown out of this chat unless they're an actual troll. <clears throat> I don't like uh, trouble. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Welcome. <laughs> Lots of laughs. You're funny, Linda. You're so funny. All right. So, uh, it's frozen. Oh, that sucks. Unfreeze it, girl. Unfreeze it. <laughs> so, we're going to do um, an image from it. Now, I haven't printed the image I'm going to do yet because... Uh, there's a choice of four, um, which I can't decide which one to do. So I need a sticky note thing, actually. Okay, so the August Reverie 3 book, Expressions, uh, it has a creepy crawler, critty, creepy crawly, critty critter thing in it. So if you don't like them, then don't watch. Because <laughs> um, I know there's a couple in here that don't like creepy crawly critters. So 
um, we will let you know that there will be some creepy crawlies in here. Are you in trouble too? Oh, you, yeah, you've had to reset. That's fine. I'm just going to mark the ones that I'm interested in doing and um, then we can do a vote. I think I've got four, so um, we'll do a vote and the one who picks the number that's picked the most um, we will do today. And I'll print it on some Bristol uh, vellum, Strathmore Bristol vellum paper because I don't know what I'm going to use. I'm thinking I might go with a bit of pencil, a bit of uh, marker, maybe even some pan pastel. Depends on which one we end up picking. I guess it will. Just probably should have got this organized a little bit sooner, but um, I forgot. I always have trouble finding this little panda dude. He's really cool. There he is. All right. I've marked him. I marked him. <laughs> All right, so let's do uh, August Reverie first. Uh, there is a flip through. There is some music. It gets a little bit dramatic in the middle of the music and then uh, it settles down a little bit. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this book uh, was sent to me by Shintaka Harith. He asked me to do uh, a flip through and a review. So what I'll do is I'll do a flip through today and during the week this week I'll colour an image from it and uh, I'll try to get a speed colouring and a proper flip through up uh, so you guys can see that as well. Uh, so if you are watching Shintaka I will do it I promise. <laughs> I have had so many requests uh, over the last two weeks for images and um, for artists contacting me and saying can you do this and can you do this book and and I'm like oh my god I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the moment so um, yeah. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Oh, is it Ayla? Is that how you say her name? Wish her a happy birthday from us as well. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at this flip through, shall we? Shall we? We shall. Let's look.
so guys um that was it <laughs> uh, now i'm having trouble with my affiliate links uh there is a link in the description it's a bit long and it won't let me post it in chat so if you want to have a look at it uh, it is available on amazon also it's available as a digital download as well um from i don't know <laughs> When I do the official flip through and speed coloring, I will have all of that information for you. So uh, if you wanted to hang out till then, otherwise I'm pretty certain um, it would be available on the web page. And if anyone knows, I'm just going to have a look here and see if I can find a link <laughs> for a digital. Do they have an Etsy store? I don't know if they even have an Etsy store. Let's go and have a look. Mm. Hmm. It's Vivid Publishers. Um, oh, here we go. PDF shop. They do. No, I don't want you to sign me up. <laughs> you know, when I ask you to sign you up, I'm already a member. Don't need that. Here we go. I'll grab the link for you now. Here we go. You can purchase it as a PDF here as well. And uh, the physical book is on Amazon. Excuse me. <laughs> Hiccup there. Is on Amazon as well. So, what do you think? You guys like it? It would be awesome if they made another book. There's actually a few images um, that I, when I was doing my little researching uh, for images in this book, uh, there was quite a few and I was like, oh, I hope they do this one. This one's really cool. Um, I don't play the game. Uh, any of you guys play the game? World of Warcraft is actually a game, uh, Holly, and um, it's quite popular. It's actually quite big. Um, I was colouring skin with Prisma Scholar and it looked grey. Huh. What's... I don't think I've used Prismacolor Scholar. What are they? Anyone know? I'm not sure. Yes, Michelle's saying yes. Husband plays it. Hi, Christy. Welcome. Um, it looks pretty cool, but... Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't have time. <laughs> I think I probably would enjoy playing it. Um, but uh, it's pretty full on. And I think I'd get too involved. I'm one of those people who goes down the rabbit hole when they find a game and... I have to be real careful, so um, I have done a flip through. I actually had to go back and have a look at my uh, Amazon history to see when I purchased this. Um, I purchased it in January of this year, so it's almost been a whole year since I got it, and um, I haven't done anything with it. I did do a flip through of it when I had a book haul, so I have done a quick flip through, but hi Rochelle, welcome guys, hi Mia, welcome. Uh, but I never actually did an image from it. Here's the link for it as well on Amazon. Um, so let's do a quick flip through, shall we? This is by Blizzard Entertainment. Blizzard are the people who created the World of Warcraft game. Um, at the start of the book, got a little bit of a uh, little bit of a reflection from my lights there. Uh, there is a couple of images that are already like that are in the book are already coloured. So original artworks by them. That's some pretty cool artworks. It looks like a lot of these might be digital. It's really hard to tell. This one here could possibly be painted. Um, pretty awesome artwork though. This dude is really popular. He's in the book like four times, I think. Maybe five times. <laughs> yeah, that could be right. Kathy, you could be right there. Um, it could be peach, light peach and raw sienna. Was it grayscale, did you say? <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> yeah, you could be 
Um, I'm not sure, Holly. It's about uh, these different races uh, that are basically mystical races that like there's alliances and battles and all sorts of things. There's actually a movie, World of Warcraft movie. Ah, oh, thanks, Mia. Uh, you could be scratching the uh, you could be scratching the ink back into your image. It could be making it grey. You're right. You could be doing that. Anyway, um, pretty cool, huh? So let's have a look at some of the images in here. As I said, I haven't picked one yet, but I've got four to choose from that I want to do today. <laughs> oh, thanks, Helen. I, I wasn't completely satisfied. Like, I didn't hate it in the end, but uh, I wasn't completely satisfied with how it ended up coming out. I, it's so frustrating when things don't work uh, the way you think. So in the game, there's uh, a few different races. There's humans, dwarves, night elves, gnomes. I don't know how to say this one. Is it Drenay? I'm not sure how to say it. There's a worgen and um, hang on. I've got my list here, but it's not moving. <laughs> it's not working. I can't see it. All right, here we go. Uh, and Pandaren. Yeah? I don't know how to say the, the one that starts with D. Dre, Dranini? Dranine? Um, so there's different races in the game. And then uh, obviously within each of those races, there's different strengths and different uh, characteristics that they might have. So they might be like a, a warlock or a, a death knight or a... Um, I know, there's heaps of different ones, like a rogue and um, uh, mages and <laughs> there's so many. Uh, so, yeah, so looking through them all, uh, there was a lot of um, characters and things in there. Uh, I like the dark elves. They're kind of cool. And um, so there's obviously humans as well, dragons, lots of different creatures. <laughs> yes, Loretta Blood Elves. <laughs> Tauren. Hmm. Yeah, different classes. That's right. Yeah. Um, it, there's a whole, it's so detailed. There's a whole lot of characters uh, that you could be. Um, So the Pandiran are usually monks, or this one is a monk, I'm pretty sure, but um, he's cool. So here's one of the ones that I, 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 one of the ones that I can't decide between. This is the first one. He's cool. It took forever to research the images and um, I found all of the, um, I don't know, what what, the, what are these called? Symbols? What are these called again? <laughs> it's in my head. Um, somebody else can chuck it up there in the chat. <laughs> I'm having a moment of I have no idea. I know this one's for undead. Crest, that's it. The Cress. I found all of the Cress. I really like the Undead one because it's purple and black. Silver. <laughs> um, these little villages and... He's so cool! So this one, is he... Was he a... A gnome? I think he's a gnome. And I think this girl is a gnome of some sort too. Um, she's kind of cool. And I couldn't find her. We were trying to find a, something with her in it so I could colour her because I like her. I think she's awesome. Um, but I couldn't find her. <laughs> now this guy, he's awesome. Um, so that's the second one on my list. So that's number two. He is cool. 
Um, I really like him too. He's pretty cool, but he's not on my list. We found out he's a what did we say he was, Alicia? A rogue a rogue um <laughs> I can't remember. She'll know. She'll remember. <laughs> we we were looking him up. It took us ages to find him, but we finally found him. <laughs> this girl here, she's a an elf. Dark Elf. So she's on my list. Undead Rogue. That's right. Undead. You're right. Got it. Thank you. Here I was talking about Undead before. So she's on my list. She'll be number three. These are the Pandiran. He's awesome. I think I might do him up on it to a canvas and paint him. He's awesome. <laughs> Michelle's already picked number three. <laughs> and uh, I can't remember what this other dude is that I like. I can't remember his name. Yeah, this one here. He's in the book about three or four times. He was the one. Hi, Joey. Welcome. He was the one. I love Zelda. Zelda's the best game ever. He was in the front here. Uh, this dude here. This is him. Uh, he is sitting on the side. So we've already got a vote for number three. <laughs> he was number four. So we'll go back and I'll flip through and I'll mark them. So there he is again. But that's a front on one. And there's another one of him too. Obviously, he's popular. He has, uh, he's kind of like a red color, ready purple color, and he's got green glowing tattoos. There he is again. I can't remember what he is though. Illidan. There you go. Storm Rage. Goldan. Who is that? What do, what does Goldan look like, Cece? I know this guy's bad. I actually got found a photo, uh, an image of him, which I really thought was actually quite cute. Um, he's one of these things. A, mor a morgul? Is that how you say it? A morgul? I really like this image of him. How cool is that? <laughs> a fell sorcerer. Murloc. <laughs> Uh, is another dark elf, but I haven't put her in because she's got nothing around her. I wanted to do the other one. It looked a bit. And this cool little looking little bug. <laughs> Hate Morlocks. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look. Number one was the Pandiran. This one. Okay, number two was this uh, priest guy. And this priest guy, actually, what, what if I show you the colored images as well? Will that help? All right, let's go back. So number one. This is number one. So this is the panda or pandiran. You see him there? Okay, let's look at number two. Turn him sideways. He's number two. Finding number three, back here somewhere. Number 
I love the colors in that one. I think it's kind of cool. Green, yellow, and red, and pink. And then the last one, I don't have... Oh, yes, I do. I have a photo of him. There he is. He is quite awesome. It's a little bit dark, though, but uh, he's kind of a ready purple colour. I'll probably do it a little bit lighter than that, but that's that one there. So that's number four. Okay, so we're voting. The number I see the most. <laughs> I've got three, 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 three. Okay, start, go, all in a row. Number two. Number three. And number four. Seven. <laughs> Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight for number three. Got one, two for number four, nine for number three. All right, calm down. <laughs> and for number two, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like number three. <laughs> All right, we're done. We're going with number three. I need to print her out. I'm going to print her out onto uh, the Bristol vellum. I think I'm going to use a bit of marker and pencil, maybe some pan pastel because this background is really nice looking and um, I think we'll do that. So um, let me print it. Find it and print it. I have it here somewhere. Um... is she's very detailed I just noticed too um, perfect here we go I've just zoomed her in a little bit so I've printed her right to the very edge of the page and uh, the printer's going to tell me it's all wrong because the size is silly. Uh, but I will do that. Now Laura used... Uh, watercolours on this paper too. So I think I can use pretty much anything on it. We're going to go. <laughs> Let's pop the book away. And I printed it on the smooth side, I think. Hang on, let me check that now. I said that. Yeah, I printed it on the smooth side of the paper. I had to get rid of my desk mat, it looks snotty. <laughs> You're not in trouble. <laughs> all good all good so she's kind of pretty I like her just giving a minute for the paper the ink to dry um so where's the original shall I put the original up do you reckon let me see It's not very good quality, so it might not come up very well. All right, let's have a go. So, um, I haven't tried markers on this paper either, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> uh. 
they sending you to the corner, are they? <laughs> Alright, what have we got? I'm just moving my markers closer. Oh, I'm wearing um, teal today. Alright. Let's have it. Just moving out some stuff that I know I'm not going to use. You should see my desk today. It's such a mess. All over the place. That happens, you know. That happens. Alright. Let's find some colours. Now, I might start at the top here and work my way down. Um, I'm going to go in with perhaps some R22. If I can find it. No, I'm not going to use R22 because I don't have a refill for it. Don't have a refill for R21 either. Um, what else have I got here? I want one that I'm going to be able to reuse a couple of times in the image. So it does need to have a refill of some sort. Goodness me, every colour I've pulled out so far hasn't had a refill. <laughs> Alright, we might have to use a mixture because I can't find any other colour. How do I store my markers? Would you like to see? They're upside down, but I can show you. Oh, actually, I might be able to show you up the right way. Here we go. Uh, this is a box. My husband uh, put a frame in it for me so I could separate them into their colours. So I've got some um, Jane Davenport stuff up here with my sparkles. I've got my Posca pens, so all the greys, all the yellows. The browns I've split into two. I've got the RV colours, V and BV colours are together. I've got B colours, R, YR, YG, blacks and, and uh, clears. Uh, I've got G's, which is green, blue greens, and these are colours that I've just used in a recent image. So if I'm sort of swapping and changing, I try to keep them separate so I can do a colour list and things like that later. So um, that's my markers. I love this box. It has a lid as well. So um, I actually got it from Masters here in Australia before they closed down. Really cheap. And um, just popping my camera back in its little slot. Um, and I did see them in office works here in Australia as well, so they're at big office works. Um, and they, it's just like a wood, I don't know what kind of wood it is. Is it MDF? MBF? I don't know. I know it's dangerous if you cut this wood anyway. <laughs> you have to wear a mask when you're cutting it. So I've got the lid off um, here. I've got a bit of a... Uh, you know what? Let's use pink in a pan pastel. Because I don't have to worry about a refill. And, uh, I don't know, what have I got here? That'll do. Grabbing a spongy. Okay, so the reds that I've got here are permanent red, extra dark, permanent red, and permanent red tint. Possibly got permanent red shade. Let me just check. I do. I also have permanent red shade as well. Which I've only used once. <laughs> Pam pastels, do they smell? No. <laughs> I 
They do not smell. <laughs> Did you just make me smell something? Oh, no, that's just weird. <laughs> no, I would say no to. <laughs> Haven't used pan pastel on this paper before yet, so this is kind of new. Uh, this is the uh, extra dark, permanent red extra dark. Gonna have a play with that. Looks like it's some kind of tree. In there. I'll come back in and put some details in there in a minute. I might do the same on this side with a bit of a tree shape. And uh, there's a little bit down here too, coming over the So World of Warcraft is a computer game, yeah? Uh, it's for a comp it's a PC game. Just gonna wipe that off on my sponge, and I'm gonna go to the shade. So permanent red shade. Just add a tiny little bit up the top here. Probably not enough on my tool there, it's just, that's a bit better. Just coming across the top, then I'm going to move down to just permanent red. And then we'll go to permanent red tint, which is nice and pink. I'm just going to use that to blend the sky out, make it a little bit lighter. All the way down. And I think we might need to put a little bit of orange in there. Um, make it look a little bit more sunsetty. Sunsetty. I've got orange tint. Just gonna add a little bit of orange tint in there. Okay, good. A little bit of white. Blend it in. Oh, need a bit of pink in there. Just using what was on the tool still. Oh, hello. Oh, so my our uh, football. We had our uh, football uh, grand final here, and the team that I wanted to win won. That was cool. They actually thrashed the other team. <laughs> that was kind of good. A bit more of the. Red, permanent red tint. 
Don't forget if you do go over any of the other areas that uh, you can erase it fairly easily. Okay, now going back to white, just to blend that in, smooth it off a bit. Um, I got a couple at a time, uh, whoever just said they were expensive. They're around $10 each, but that $10 is going to last you forever, pretty much. Uh, you'll never have to replace them, I don't think, unless you're using them all the time. Um, I'll probably may end up replacing a white, maybe. Um, and uh, I started with all the tints first, so I got all the light colours, because the lighter colours I would use more in backgrounds. And then I gradually added colours. So I don't have all of them yet, and I don't have any more pet, like um, holders for them either. I, I still need to get some holders. That's a uh, nanny barking. All right, I need a little bit more of the extra dark. Come back in over the top of that. Now. Just gonna dab in some darker spots there as well. I need to put a little bit here just so it lines up with the that bit there. I've got a couple of soft erasers um, that I use. I like white erasers. Um, I've got this sort of, I don't know, it's just cheap. It was actually from Daiso, or Daiso, however you say it. Um, and it's dirty, I'm just giving it a clean. Um, I've also got a... Paper Mate eraser. Um, I've got the mono eraser, and I can't find my other one, which is like a pencil, and you peel off the outside of it uh, to bring the eraser out to get more eraser, and I can't find it. So who knows where that went? Be somewhere there. Just use the mono one for now. So uh, with the pen pastels I purchased a, the last lot I brought was um, the shades actually. I got a whole pack of shades. It was uh, really quite cheap for the set. So I think it was like, I know it was on special at the time. Maybe it was about $80 for the 12 colours or something, however many there are. Maybe there's more. Maybe it's 24. I can't remember. brush backwards because it's brushing back over now uh, it's also got the same kind of color in the bottom here as well so I'm just going to go and add a little bit of that to there uh, maybe just the I'm going to go orange tint 
down the bottom here. Uh, and it's already got red on the on the uh, tool still, so I'm mixing them together a little bit. Down here. Just going a little bit lighter as we come out. This is the orange tint. And then some white just to blend that lighter section off at the bottom there. Now, it's got a bit of yellow um, coming up the wall, uh, so I'm going to use yellow ochre tint. Wow, Roslyn, what art shop? Um, they're around $10 at the art shop here at uh, Bayswater. Um, but I managed to get them on Amazon Australia when they were on special. Um, I just had them on my list and then when they go on special, the uh, Amazon then uh, notifies you and I got them. The others I just collected every now and then. I've got uh, yellow, yellow ochre tint. Coming up the back of the wall there. As I said, I don't have all of them. I actually don't even know how many I've got. I've got a colour list here somewhere. Perhaps I don't. There you go. I've still got heaps to fill in between. These are the only ones I have. Um, as you can see, there's loads in between. So I got a packet of shades, so that's why I've got shades in a lot of colours. And uh, I got a fair few tints in some colours. But I've still got heaps to fill in. Heaps to fill in. <laughs> but um, you don't need to have everything to have a go. Grab a couple and try them. As I said, I brought the tints first to use... Um, in backgrounds and then when I had to play with them I wanted to buy the skin colours so I brought some skin colours and then um, I just got a packet of shade because they were special but there's still heaps I need and uh, every now and then I'll go to the art shop and I'll collect I do the same with markers as well I'll collect a new colour and add it to my list I'm not going to be able to use markers on this now, am I? <laughs> if I do, I'll have to make sure I erase all the dust out of those light areas at least. Now, the sword is kind of glowing. I'm going to add a little bit of pink in here too, I think. Just a little bit of 
the pink red permanent red tint to dirty it up a little bit her sword's glowing like a green color I don't know does everything magic in this land glow green it's one thing I did notice when I was looking at these images or trying to find images Yeah, the pearlescent. I've got metallics and pearlescents on the list, but I haven't got any of them. I'm not sure I'll use them either. Um, I don't use a lot of uh, sparkly stuff due to um, not coming up under my scanner when I scan images in. Somebody's just sent me a message. Is it one of you guys? <laughs> I've got Alicia here, she's uh, writing down the colours I've used if you wanted to try it too, so uh, for patrons, so if you patrons would like to give it a go, you can. And uh, if you don't have the book, you could use the same effects on any image. Alright, just got rid of the stuff out of the down there slowly going to build this up all right let's uh, finish up up the top here uh, I need some pencils don't I um, please miss shadow do not come out today because it's stuck everywhere let's go with prisma color um, Tuscan red is first. And I'm just going to draw in a couple of branches in the back there. Nothing special, not too much detail. Can't really see it very well, but it's definitely there. Kind of looks a bit like a cherry blossom or something here. Using the permanent red extra dark again. Just trying to add a little bit of depth in there. And then we need some big contrast. So Posca. Oh yeah, especially with um, Halloween. Good. Hello Heather again. Welcome. <laughs> you need to use more glitter. pink one as well pink is a small size oh no my gold pen's leaking now oh, that's gonna have to go in the bin oh gross <laughs> it's just leaked all over my other pens 
This is a pink Posca pen. And a few different coloured Poscas. I like Posca pink pens. Easy to use. And they go on a lot of um, other mediums on top of them. Uh, acrylic paint. Pan pastels, pencils, markers. Oh, make sure you clean the end of your pen. See, look, dirty. Clean, clean, clean. clean all those off now. I just got a small one and I'm just going to put a couple of uh, little white flecks like leaves or what do you call it like confetti looking coming off the trees blowing in the wind little scribbles of white paint and that's the top section done all right ow it was you Michelle you sent me a picture what's this what am I what oh she's cool look at her who is that Michelle <laughs> Michelle just sent me a picture of uh, somebody. I really want to use some marker, so I'm just going to make sure that I clean off my paper. Especially for these gold sections, I think the marker would be easier to use. Bit of Y38. Hi, Heather, welcome. Hi, Kimmy, welcome. Hello, my lovely people who are coming in now. Uh, that was from Dice Daiso. Daiso? Daiso? Um, it's just a Japanese. Um, it's just a bit bigger than the, um, that because that's tiny. And I find that I use the mono eraser too much in the bigger areas. So um, this is a Y38, and I'm just going to use this down. This dark middle section here. The only thing with using marker with uh, the pen pastel is that I won't be able to spray it because the marker will go funny. But um, I'll just put it in a folder with a protector on it and it should be fine. Yeah, I am using the uh, paper isn't really designed for um, markers, but it's actually coming out all right. It's not. Um, it's not bleeding out too much. I don't feel. 
might have a little bit down there but it's pretty good so far might have to use some sort of paint pen in, in on these letters to make them glow a little bit. Michelle, did you tell me Japanese... Uh, Deso? Yeah, they have them in America, don't they? I'm pretty certain they do. Deso. Japanese bargain center. Everything's like one price. Most things are one price. It's kind of a trap going in there actually. I always spend money in there, especially on um, stationary things. I got a whole heap of um, highlighter pens from there that are kind of nice. Just a bit of a shadow under there and under here. like the gates are this color too so just working out some of the gate in that I'm gonna have to go in darker I think though that's not quite as dark as the actual image but it is something to start the face To erase down here. Any white eraser is, you know, as long as it's soft and it's white. Um, I actually uh, got this awesome uh, eraser. It's like a pillow. It's really cool, uh, but it does like large areas. Um, it's a drafter's eraser for people who do drafting or architecture drafting I'm getting a book today I just got an email saying that I'm getting Whimsical Wild by Jane Davenport it's coming today it's a lighter Yeah. I haven't had a lot of time to do Jane stuff. Alright, I think I'm happy with that so far. Perhaps a little bit down the bottom here. Because I don't have all the pan pastel colors, I can uh, kind of build upon it though. Build upon the marker color with a little bit of pan pastel now too. Alright. So this is kind of like a really bright green color. And I'm thinking that some YG13. I did erase that before I did it and uh, maybe a little bit of YG21 which is kind of a yellowy green it's chartreuse this is called a niece but that's what I the color is chartreuse color Just being careful of the pastel section too. Okay. 
um, how are we going? We need some Yeah, I've got palette pastels too. I got the skin, the birthday suit one, I think it is. Yeah, the birthday suit. Peekaboo. Great over the top of acrylics too. Uh, now this needs to be darker. It's kind of a brownie colour. Where's my pastels going? But um, get it out there. Burnt sienna. Just cleaning off my tool. Actually, I might grab another one. This one's got a bit of yellow on it. That'll do. Um, so burnt sienna. And I'm just going to go over the top of the yellow marker a little bit and see if I can get a darker colour which I think is going to look good yep that's going to good okay I just wanted to work it out in my head so I knew where I was going uh, now I'm going to use a lighter yellow first just to fill out the rest of these yellow sections and then I'll go over with that pan pastel and um, add that in just to darken up that yellow a little bit so this is Y13 Yeah, I went over the pan pastel there. Just try and clean it off. <laughs> As I come over the lighter areas, I just rub that pastel off there. Oh, this one is truly a mixed media project, eh? Isn't she looking golden? Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. She is looking golden. Very golden. I missed a little bit of the darker colour up here. Okay, so I'm going to use the burnt sienna over... Oops, that was a bit dark. Good on me. Just making that yellow a little bit more dull. More bronzy maybe? I don't know, brassy?
Um, I'm using, um, hang on, let me get it, this paper, Bristol Vellum Surface, and I'm using the smooth side for this one, um, because I knew I was going to be using some markers, I wanted to um, use the smoother side, because otherwise it's just going to... Uh, wreck my nibs too quickly. I don't want to make them wreck them too quick so yeah I love the colors in that picture Michelle did you say which what what character that was I didn't see did I miss that bit Rate me in capitals. I'm just darkening up that uh, yellow that I put down, making it look a little bit more brassy kind of looking, I guess. I'm also going to add this. the side here as my shadow obviously going a bit darker in that very edge piece and I may need some Payne's grey who would have thunk I like Payne's grey it's a good colour Okay, now uh, we need a bit more of a shadow on this wall here, uh, but I think I want to go a bit darker in a second. Um, Alright, how are we going? How are we looking? We need shadow in behind her. I'll grab that in a sec. Did I go over all the yellow? I don't have a colour that will go in the middle in pan pastels, so let me think. It's a blue-green colour in here, so I'm just going to erase that area in there, make sure I've got all that pastel out of there. got some BG45 it's a nice color it looks like there's like a, a bird somebody who plays the game might know it's on the crest at the back here which is a gold color as well and um, just skipped that Oops, just went on his wing. There's a lot of detail in this, so I'm trying to, um, I don't know, break it down into little bits, I guess.
this marker's drying very, very quickly. Most likely would need a refill. Just under here. It's gold, gold. It's a book. Yes, it is school holidays. Second week of school holidays. The Melbourne show, Royal Melbourne show is going on at the moment here. Um, now, I've got this really bright kind of yellow colour in the pan pastels. Just get rid of that fancy inner off there. Um, this is Drysdale yellow. I want to add some of this into the yellow parts of the... Some of the yellow parts of the gold, just brightening it up a little bit. No worries, Rochelle. Thank you. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea. That's why I have the Mondays for so I can do some of my stuff I'm interested in or want to have a play with. <laughs> So I think because I put that base down, um, it's really brightened it up a little bit. I'm liking it a lot, actually. It's a bit rough looking, which I don't mind. I'm rough anyway, a bit rough around the edges. <laughs> Can hear a basketball bouncing around out there. There's kids everywhere in our street. Uh, last, late last night we could hear kids playing around. It's like, why are they in bed? <laughs> okay, I still can see some of the lighter colour underneath there, which is what I kind of wanted. So, good, good. This one's going to be looked at from far away. <laughs> A bit on the birdie there. I've got a couple of different colours. I've got black, I've got uh, Payne's grey, and I've got some neutral grey shade. Um, these came in the shade sets, so that's why I have them. And I might just grab a different tool for these because they're a bit darker. I'm going to use the natural grey shade just down the side of this shadow here. Getting rid of some more of that and 
just blending that in a little bit. Just trying to add some shadows on the very edge there. And uh, just lightly bringing it out. Just going to blend a bit of white in with that. Just making it look a little bit dirty, I guess. And then white just to blend that out a little bit. Grabbing a little bit of the colour out of the Pressed there as well, just dragging it over the door. And uh, this side, I'm going to mix a little bit of that grey with white. Just add a little bit in here. These little splotches on the uh, columns here are like dirt patches. So yeah, the wall's not just like a pristine clean white wall, it's it's a, got a bit of dirt over it. Starting to build in some gaps here using a tiny bit of more white and that grey just in there. Okay, now there's a bit of a shadow here. I'm going to go with a little bit of the Payne's grey. Just kind of a blue grey. I like Payne's grey, it's one of my favourite colours. Isn't that weird? Come on. with a bit of white and we're going to make a shadow of her here I'm going to bring this sword down here With a bit more white. It's getting a little bit darker. in the edge and then we have our shadows just looking cool huh all right we need another shadow down here where her clothes are kind of leaning up against the wall there and uh, her foot is coming across here so we just add a shadow in there I know it looks a little strange, but it doesn't want to be done. Looks good. Alright, let's add that shadow up here a little bit. <laughs> me too I'm in the zone who's talking to me gold represents light 
Um, okay, Kenny. This is why the crest looks as it does. Okay. <laughs> I am in the zone. I was in the zone. Trying to just create the right shadows and get the right look there. Just adding a little bit more grey, but this is Payne's grey this time. To the side there. And um, I think I need to add this Payne's Grey also to this column. I wanted to kind of make those two sides slightly different in colour. So they didn't look like they were just a flat wall. And uh, I think I'm going to need to add a little bit of black in there. Just a tiny little touch down here this is so messy I love it <laughs> I love messy <laughs> this is so messy I love it I like messy So good. Need some more white just to blend that out. I'm really enjoying this. It's looking good. Thank you to my requested, uh, my buddy who requested this. They know who they are. Just going to do the same on this side now with the wall using a bit of the Payne's Grey still on my and black still on my uh, tool there and just blending that out. So it kind of looks a little bit dirty looking. It's like a brown sort of colour. <laughs> But it's pale now across the bottom of the wall here I think we need a bit more of a shadow I'm going to use the Payne's gray again just coming across the bottom of the wall here just adding a little bit of shadow in there I love how uh, you can just build up the colors and um, considering the last pan pastel attempt I did I didn't have very much luck with the paper um, this is actually doing considerably well <laughs> and you know what surprised me is it was actual pastel paper and it just didn't go very well uh, a bit a little bit of black just in here <laughs> Shannon, thanks. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kenny. How's we looking? A little bit of depth here, I reckon. Just a tad of black.
A little bit more. Good. Maybe a little bit in this side. Just here. And let's just give us a grubby wall again. <laughs> a bit of white mixed in with whatever's on my palette. Uh, on my tool, I should say. Dirty looking. It's a bit of uh, burnt sienna and a bit of grey and a bit of black and a bit of white all mixed in together. Alright, now we're going to get to some details in this, this wall. Uh, we just watched. Um, uh, stardust the other night and when I just said the wall that's what it reminded me of then just adding some of the neutral grey Alicia will list the colours for patrons guys and um, I'll put the numbers and what colour they wear as well on there to lighten that side a wee bit okay looking dirty messy ready uh, rustic like an actual brick wall would look maybe maybe not I don't know we'll come back in with a pencil and we'll dark, darken up all the cracks and the lines but um, I'm pretty happy with that. That leg's looking a little strange, but that's all right. <laughs> that's all right, she says. All right. Let's add in some details here. So if we use a white paint pen over the top of this writing and then we lay a little bit of some like, um, what have I got here? Maybe some hands of yellow or even some green of some sort. I've got permanent green tint. Maybe one of those two or both of those two over the writing. Uh, I think that would look cool. And also we need to add some sort of dirty patches in this background area and just touch up that um, little, what's he called? Bird. He's a bird. So I'm just coming over with the white paint pen. I'm hoping this will create a nice clean area for the pen pastel to grip and uh, we'll get some nice bright colored letters if that doesn't work I don't know we'll figure it out It is starting to come alive, isn't it? Well, the background is, anyway. I really didn't, to be honest, I really didn't feel like colouring today. I was like, oh, I said to Alicia yesterday, I don't know what to do. And, um, and we were talking about uh, my son's been playing Warframe on the Xbox, and we were talking about this and I remembered I'd had been somebody requested an image out of it so I was like yeah let's do something from that and uh, that's when we just started on a you know down the rabbit hole didn't we Alicia with the looking for the original artists and figuring out what characters were <laughs> and also uh, we watched the reserve is it reserve state calisthenics competition yesterday it was six hours long that was um eventful i 
I wonder what these symbols say. Something to do with light, Loretta. Adding it over the black lines down here as well on the sword. Now I heard a few people say this is not their thing, but what a great challenge doing something like this. Creating something like this. I just went over the down there as well. So what do you reckon? I'm not sure. I'm going to test. Let's have a play. I think I've nearly used all of my soft tools today. <laughs> it's all good. Clean that off a bit. Oh, it's a great thing about using paper as my desktop protector. I can just scribble all over it and replace it later. So much fun. I got two blacks. I don't know where the other black came from. I'm not sure whether I want to use yellow. Or green or mix them let's mix them green so that was permanent green permanent green tint upside down and uh, hence a yellow tint and uh, I'm just going to try and see if I can get a nice color to go over those little words it might not be dark enough. It's not going to be dark enough peoples. I'm going to need to add pencil I think over the top of that. Rats. You can barely see that. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Pushing your boundaries, is that what it's called? It's called something like that. Oh, she's a bit blurry. What have I done there? I'll do. Um, I've got chartreuse. Let's try that in the Prismacolor. I didn't watch Vikings, I wasn't, um, I don't know, it seemed Game of Thrones was like my limit when it comes to violence, I don't know. And I still haven't finished watching Game of Thrones because I don't, I don't want to watch it because it ended. Does that ever happen to you? Do you love something so much you just don't want to see the end? Well, that's me.
that's pretty good. Um, I might actually add some of this into the background here. Just adding it on a couple of these areas that are a bit grubby looking. You know, Prismacolor, do they have like an aqua colour? They do, don't they? Here we go. What have I got? This one will do. I'm struggling to put things everywhere here. I'm all over the place. My desk is like full on cluttered now. A little bit of a uh, cobalt turquoise. Just adding some... Shading in there. Let's do the um, bricks as well. I've got, uh, let's, actually, no, I don't want to use cool grey. I'm going to try a French grey, I think. It's kind of a, French grey is like a brown grey. Um, bye, Mia. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner. Just coming in. With, this is a French grey 90% in the Prismacolors. Just going to mark in some of these areas so that they don't look too faded out. Some creases and grooves in the, in the brick. the bottom there We've just been going over all of Netflix. Um, I'm thinking about quitting it again. So we had like a two year gap since we had it last. So we've almost watched everything again. <laughs> it's time to give it up. I might try some stand, but my TV doesn't take, doesn't get stand. It's a little frustrating. But yeah, we've been going through all of the Netflix um, series. Just creating a little bit of depth around the trim of the door. And I've just turned it upside down because I couldn't reach it without smudging over it with my hands. And then um, we have some trim to do on this gold. There's like another colour that's got to come in here. So um, we're going to need to do that. But I thought I would do it last because it's going to be a bright colour. Mm, much better. 
A little bit of detail. What's the time? I need to keep an eye on that, don't I? I've only got 15 minutes. How are you looking? It's looking rather nice. I started with the background this time because I really liked the background. <laughs> I wanted to have a go at it. Um, I always end up starting on people. <laughs> Sniffed, sorry. I think I need a drink. Just... The only thing about working at the background first is that um, I have to lean over it all to uh, get to the middle. Ah <laughs> oh, well, I'll get over it. Get my little glove out. I'm hoping that has created a little bit more depth. In those areas now and it has it's looking good all right uh, the next color I have is red now I'm thinking I might just use permanent red but I'm going to use my 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 what am I going to use I've got one of these the pointed one dirty it'll do hopefully <laughs> I'm gonna go with the permanent red and um, these little like wavy areas here if you can see them are red And maybe even Loretta knows why they're red. I don't know why they're red. <laughs> Everyone's having a good old chat about um, TV shows in the chat. I love it how everyone just sort of chat. It's like a forum to chat about whatever. <laughs> Even though I'm using the point of this, it's not very easy to use, so I'm not sure whether to try a different tool or not. It's still going over the edges a bit. And it's not coming out quite as dark as I want it to. all right <laughs> it's just all right mm. 
Maybe it's just red for blood. I'm just trying to put in some details in the the wall now. Is what I'm doing. I'm also adding a few dots of that darker red up the top here. In with my little cherry blossoms or whatever they are I think I'm going to use, need to use pencil in the darker areas. It's uh, kind of going a bit pink. So using the pencil to do those details just makes it stand out anyway. Adding a little bit of red over the wall here. And uh, just add some splatter. <laughs> Alright, go back to that grey pencil and uh, I'm just going to add in some, just some like dirt lines I guess. is our yellow. Dry style yellow. Just dragging some down. Kind of making it look like it's uh, bleeding a little bit but the colour is actually bleeding down. Yeah. Dirtying up our little space up the top there. Adding a little bit of the uh, uh, burnt sienna just in the gold bird thing here.
with a little bit of the dry style yellow. Alright, we're getting there. We've nearly finished. Um, I need... I need... some pumpkin orange just to come around these borders here. Fill in some gaps along that edge and along this edge. I went over the lines. It's all good. We'll fix it up. See? <laughs> Need to fix this one up too. It's not right. I just uh, had a phone call from my dad and I just want to check he was okay. <laughs> That'd be right. I really do need to get rid of this phone in here. Oh, that was weird. I'm going to get rid of it, I swear. <laughs> I swear, it must be time to hang up. <laughs> uh, dear me. All right, I've got a little bit of Scarlet Lake in the Prismacolor. Just going to go and darken up some of these areas and just come around the outside of them. Uh, Dad went in to day surgery and uh, he was going to catch a taxi and I just got Cam to ring him. Hopefully he's okay. Just darkening up that red. I wasn't happy. It wasn't quite as dark as I wanted it. So, and also I'm coming over those black lines a little bit to cover them over. So we can't see it as much. <laughs> Alright, looking good. Let's get finishing off, hey? It's looking good. She's wearing red, so I'm actually going to use that uh, Scarlet Lake again. And uh, I'm just going to fill out some of the red areas. Uh, we don't need too much detail in here. Because it's so tiny. Gold. There's a little bit of red there. Um, what else? I think all of the 
the uh, armor's got red and gold in it. Oh, and now the postie's knocking on the door. I'm not having much luck. It must be time to um, go. Be right back, guys. So sorry guys. <laughs> I got some packages. Look. <laughs> um, what I might do is finish her up because uh, we're over time already. Uh, but if you want, I can open up and see what I got. <laughs> Everyone's coming in now. All right. Hi, Nicotina. Welcome. Shadow, you can't get up. It's a mess. Yes, I know. Say hello. There you go. You cannot come up, though. I can't get this one open. It's a, it's a, it's a good one. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, wait. I think this is from you, Miss Kenny. Oh. Okay, <laughs> get it open. Where's Nani? Nani, hi Linda. Nani is with Cameron and uh, ew, yuck. This bag's got weird stuff inside it. Look, recycled paper bag. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> it's going everywhere. That's disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, the bag ripped open and it just went everywhere. I think this is from you, Kenny. <laughs> Thank you. No, Shadow, you can't do that off no you can't your wrap bag I know I've got a great big mess here and you're very upset that you can't sit down aren't you <laughs> let me just put some of these out of the way uh, from Little Miss Shadow's paws because she will make a mess I had uh, these out one day and she stood on them and then went and stood on my desk and I had little paw prints, little pan pastel paw prints all over the place. Lovely. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to open this and see what this is.
So according to the girls, there were some colours that aren't in the Ink Tense pencils but are in the travel pack. Is that correct? Packs. There's two of them. <laughs> oh, wow. They're pretty colours. Uh, there's sun yellow, mango, poppy red, dark plum, mid ultramarine, bright blue, racing green, teal green, kiwi, burnt yellow ochre, natural brown, and ink black. And it's so cute. They're in this little travel pack. It looks like it's got a bit dirty from the um, dust. It's got a little brush with it. Kenny, it survived and it's so pretty. So is this pack one or pack two? I don't even know. Because I know there was two, but we could, I can't remember which was which. But look, isn't that awesome? There's a little sponge there to, to clean off your cloth. These actually pop out too, look. Oh, even the, I think the little pans do too, yeah? They do. Look, you can even replace the little individual pans. That is so cool. I can't wait to try it now. <laughs> no, you're not leaving yet. <laughs> do you want me to do a colour swatch? Just quickly. I'll just use a, my um, brush that I already have. Put a little bit of water on them. And um, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's give them a go. So this is sun yellow. It's got a little bit of green on it though from the green. I'll just move that aside. <gasps> wow, that is so pigmented. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I wasn't expecting that to be so pigmented. Awesome. Let's have a look at the mango. Oh my god, it is stunning. Mango. All right, what have we got? Poppy red. Meow. Love. You're not allowed over here. No, I've got too much stuff. Dark plum. Ooh, that's rich. Oh, wow. Oh, amazing. Oh, this is my favorite color. Oh, this is divine. I love plum. All right. Oh, shadow. Put your butt on my picture. Bip, bip. Let me just grab that. Thanks. <laughs> oh I love that one and I just smudged it I'll just just you know so do these ones reactivate or they're intense blocks so that they're saying they don't reactivate let's have a look oh they do reactivate a little bit that's cool all right uh what else have we got uh mid ultramarine I'm almost finished Nani <laughs> Nani just said hello That was mid blue. I'm just going to grab my other cloth because that's getting dirty now. Clean my spongy off. Okay, and then this one is bright blue. Oh my god, look at that blue. I didn't really space that out very well, did I? These are amazing. These are beautiful. Thank you so much, Kenny. Oh, I'm in love. In love. 
I've never had intense block before, only ever had uh, intense pencils. Uh, this is Racing Green. Just spread it out a little bit better this time. Oh, wow. Green. Beautiful. Is this set, I don't know if this is set one or two. Did did we say? This is one. Okay, cool. Um, what have we got next? Teal green. Oh, look how pretty that is, guys. That is pretty. Um, we've got kiwi. I didn't spread it out very well again. <laughs> I'm not very good at spacing, am I? Just needed to add a little bit more water in there. It was a bit thick. My brush was a bit dry. That is beautiful. That's like a chartreuse colour too, isn't it? Look at it. Yes, it's pretty shadow. Get out of my way. <laughs> um, burnt yellow ochre. It needs more water. No shadow, you can't eat the no you can't eat the watercolours. Goodness me. <laughs> He's trying to eat my watercolours. <laughs> oh nice. Well that's pretty. Okay, that's a good good another good skin tone in there. Um what have we got? New natural brown. Let's have a look at natural brown. Oh, I like this one too. This is a really good skin colour. This has got a bit of a purple tone to it. I like that. Oh, that's pretty. Shadow wants to paint alright. She wants to eat it. And this is just ink black, which we have in the pencil set. But of it, oh wow. <laughs> Obviously, uh, it's a lot more rich in the... Oh, these are stunning. Thank you so much, Kenny. I am much appreciative of this. This is amazing. Just pretty. All right. Now, let's just see if we can... I was just going to see if I could reactivate them. Or take color out by dropping they're not really dry these ones so that's not going to work well but no 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 <laughs> I was just gonna see if you could take color off but you can't they pretty much can't be reactivated uh, that one was already wet there, so that didn't. These ones were wet, so if it's already if it's still wet, you can take color away. Um, but if it's dry, it's pretty much activated. You can't reactivate it. Shadow's really having a go, isn't she? Are you okay there, my darling? Hey. And the other thing that came was this is a big one. Did it? Did it? You need to move. <laughs> I don't want to put that back in there because they're still wet. So I'll just cover that over. Oh, that's so cool. Very exciting. All right, just get out of my way. Cat. <laughs> you got to move. You're in my way. Seriously. I've been waiting for this for how long? <laughs> and it's here can we see my picture where is it uh, it's not on the front oh here it is it's on the inside cover there's mine down here yay look at all these beautiful images this is um, the one from the Kickstarter program that Hannah Lynn did, Best Off 
coloring book volume one apparently it's meant to have the awesomest paper in it she signed it these are all the pictures that are in it I did a digital clip through of it a little while ago um, and the paper doesn't seem as good as what I thought it was going to be actually it feels different to it's smooth the paper's smooth but it's not thick it's um hey can you hear that should we do a tester page we can choose one of these as a tester page just quickly These pages aren't single sided, which is a pain. There are so many pictures in this book, it's not funny. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys. We have a tester page. There's already something underneath, so I don't need to worry, but let's have a look. You really are in my way there, you know that? Just going to see if I can blend. If I was to put some absorbent paper behind it, it would blend all right. Goes through, of course. Should we have a look at the? We, oh, let's just tie these. <laughs> Why not? Got to be plum. Which one was plum again? This one. I had it right. Oh, it's really smooth. It's kind of got a bit grainy. Um, I don't think it's going to peel. It is going to buckle. It definitely wrinkles with watercolour. It might pill. I'll try that again in a minute. Prismacolor. Oh. Hmm. No, I'm not sure about that. I'll just zoom in a bit and you can see what I'm doing. And then I better go because I've had you guys on here forever. It's not really. layering very well yeah I'm not really fussed on that one let's try a pastel pencil because I had it but sitting there mm. pan pastel because we've got it sitting there as well what have I got here got our Permanent red shade. Pan pastel seems to work really well on it. It's nice and smooth anyway. I don't know how many layers you could get, but that seems all right. The marker's not really blending there. It's just sort of sitting on top of the other. What else do we try? Polychromos.
Polychromos goes better on it than the Prismacolor. But it's still kind of grainy. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, I got a Pablo on the bottom of my drawer that's fallen out of my folder. Cone Dash Pablo. Pablo's are alright. here. It's a nice dark colour. Let's do Burnt Sienna Luminance. Luminance is leaving a heap of dust. It's okay. <sighs> to be honest, um, it's not like woohoo this is the best paper ever that's for sure I mean for the price of it <laughs> we want to have good paper I've got a few lines in it still it, I don't know how it's going to go blending because uh, luminance is quite thick uh, wax base so I don't know let's try some Holbens which is a mixture of wax and oil Just marking them so I don't forget. What was this one? Luminance. Okay, Holbin. Similar to Polly's. That has buckled and so has the marker that's buckled as well. You can probably see it better on the blank side there. I'm not sure what it would be like by doing a few layers because, you know, when you're doing skin and things like that, you might like to do um, some layers. Pill. It didn't pill. Um, Tombos. Of course, I've got purple out. Violet. Let's see if it'll move with water. Thanks. Oh. oh, they don't move with water. Not that great anyway. Nope, that's pilling. It's a bugger because I like to use my tombos with water. 
What else, guys? What else? Actual ink tense pencil. Light scribble, dark scribble, and a water activated one. Oh no, don't do that. Don't don't do ink tense in it. It doesn't move that pigment at all. <laughs> Just warning you now. Yep, not that great. Oh yes, yeah, Serene, just be careful using that too. I copy mine. Um, this is just, somebody just said a gel pen. I don't have gel pens other than white, so it's hard to see. Um, but yeah, gel pens are fine. Um, this is a Posca. I love Posca. Posca. <laughs> um, these are those uh, Pintor paint pens, the water based pigment ink. Ooh. Don't you like me today, paint pen? Yeah, it's alright. It doesn't seem like it does it, Loretta. I was hoping it would be really good quality, like she was raving about it, but um, I don't know. I'm not really impressed with anything in it at the moment. Um, Pam Pastels, pretty much. <laughs> it's the only thing so far. Um, that's a little frustrating, isn't it? Let me just see if we can use a some zest it on the pencils. Just in the middle of each of them. I love zested on polys. It makes things so smooth. It uh, didn't really make a difference. It's really grainy. You can see there there's lots of grain. Um, like that's firm pressure trying to sort of flatten out the tooth and I struggled to do that. And that's really bunched up now. I've done a second layer. That peeled. Ink tents didn't move. Um, I think if you're just going to do one layer of, of the actual watercolor maybe let me just try some watercolor um, let's have a look got a couple here I'll try my watercolors Windsor and Newton Cotman set <sighs> bit messy in there I don't clean it <laughs> Just in case I come back to it, you see. Mm. So that's watercolour. I think that if you were going to do... That's another colour over the top. Watercolour, I think you might be alright. Um, it's going to come up a little bit grainy, but um, the colour sort of goes down okay. You're not going to be able to move the colour around, I don't think. This is a neo colour. Um, 
I do draw some on and uh, I'll just rub some on my little palette. Hard to move if you're doing it directly on the page, it's not moving that very well, but if you use it like watercolour, it's going to be alright, I think. To tell you the truth, the watercolour in this works better in here than it does in the Seculum's book, so... Yep. That's not the first printed book from an artist that ended up not being worth it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, for the price that I paid, um, I'm not really that impressed with it. What a bummer. What a bummer. I'll have to save this one for watercolours then. Um, look at that. It's so pretty. It's actually smoothed off now. That was just the Cotman set. I don't mind the Windsor and Newton. They're nice. I have got a little bit of, um, I did have some Schmincke paints too, somewhere. I just don't know where they are. They're in the bottom drawer somewhere. <laughs> I know. I mean, <laughs> I know. Heather, that's a great idea. Let's just get insurance for it. Okay, no, that's just a down. I only lost money on that one. <laughs> um, but look, you're right. I can. <laughs> It. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, at least some of my mail was very happy mail. I really love this, Kenny. Thank you so much. Um, I I'm going to enjoy this very much back in there now beautiful but that's it from me guys I will finish up this image uh, and pop up the video on patreon soon I've just got her to do now so I'll just play around and put colors in for her and neaten a few things up but um, I really do like the sky it came out awesome I think I could probably darken up some of the colors too so I'm gonna have a play with um, some of these shadows and maybe make them a little bit darker uh, but I really enjoyed using the pan pastels on this one a um, bit of bit of um, Copic and a bit of pan pastel and some pencil went really well looks good um, but yeah looks good bit of fun so um, we're gonna start a new color along next week or this week sorry Friday um, we're starting a cute image by Jenny Lewin so I'm going to set that up over today, this afternoon and tomorrow and uh, get that out so you guys can grab a cute little Halloween image and uh, the rest of the images that I'll do on the Mondays over the next uh, month we'll, we'll try and do some Halloween-y um, type themed images. But um, thank you so very much everyone for joining me. Thank you and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, night evening, afternoon, whatever, wherever you are. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Bye. Big thank you, Kenny. Mwah. Love it. <laughs>